assalamu alaikum students welcome to physiologics youtube channel in this video uh, we will be discussing uh, physiotherapy mcqs basically we are starting a physiotherapy mcq series to help you prepare for exams uh, whether it is your professional exam or it is ppsc or it is for dubai dha hard mh if, if you are preparing for mcqs we'll be covering almost every subject related to physiotherapy in the first session we'll be covering the mcqs related to kinesiology in this video uh, we'll be discussing nearly 50 mcqs of kinesiology and their correct answers so let's start mcq number one the line of gravity of human body passes through which of the following third sacral vertebra nose second sacral vertebra or big toe its correct answer is second sacral vertebra basically uh, the line of uh, gravity passes through uh, your ear lobes, shoulder joint, second second vertebra, then hip joint, then knee joint, and then your ankle joint. And uh, one more thing that the center of gravity of your human body is located at second second vertebra. This MCQ can also come in this shape, like where in the human body is second second vertebra located. MCQ number two is. When two unequal forces act at different points and in opposite directions, it produces which of the following? Either it is tension, stress, rotation, or longitudinal stress. And the correct answer is rotation. When two different forces, two unequal forces act at two different points as shown in the figure, it results in rotation of the body. So this body will rotate. MCQ number three, that which of the following describes a state of relative immobility the options are fixation stabilization both of these or none of these and the correct option is stabilization basically fixation and stabilization both are used for immobilizing the structures fixation is a state of immobility whereas stabilization is a state of relative immobility so if uh, in the mcu statement it is written what describes a state of perfect absolute immobility it would be fixation and when it says what describes the state of relative immobility it would be stabilization and second number four in the liver the perpendicular distance from fulcrum to the effort is called force arm weight arm effort arm or none of these and the correct option is effort arm in the liver there are basically three points one is the point where around which the movement takes place this is known as fulcrum at one point effort is applied and at one point load is applied the distance from fulcrum to load is known as weight arm or load arm and the distance from fulcrum to effort is known as effort arm so in this mcq it is it has been asked that we, what do you call the perpendicular distance from fulcrum to the effort so it is called effort arm MCQ number 5, in human body levers, the effort needed to move a joint is supplied by bones, ligaments, muscles or none of these. So when we move, our muscles contract, our muscles help us move. So the correct option is muscles. If we look into this figure, this is basically bicep muscle that is inserted here. And when it contracts, it results in elbow flexion. So the effort is provided by bicep muscle so the correct option here is muscles mcq number six which of the following starting positions is used for backward movement in a sagittal plane and to train control of hip joints and lower trunk options are standing sitting kneeling and hanging the correct option is kneeling kneeling is a position which is used for the backward movement in a sagittal plane and to train control of hip joints and lower drum muscles mcu number seven in which of the following livers there is always mechanical disadvantage first order liver second order liver third order liver or option a and c both are correct and the correct option here is third order liver to understand this mcq you first need to understand what do you mean by mechanical advantage and mechanical disadvantage if there is less effort required to do a task then it is said 
that you have mechanical advantage so suppose if you want to lift 10 newton the 10 kg dumbbell and the force you use i have with the help of some instrument 5 kg force so we will say that you have mechanical advantage but if you to lift 10 kg dumbbell you apply a force of 15 kg we say you have mechanical disadvantage so in this case in the third order liver it this this is basically the types of liver class one class two class three in class one liver the fulcrum is in the mid in class two liver the load is in the center and in class three liver the force in the center in the class three liver the effort arm the distance from force or effort to the fulcrum is always less than the weight arm and as discussed in the previous mcq the effort arm is the distance from effort to the fulcrum the load arm is the distance from load to the fulcrum and if they both are equal there will be no mechanical advantage and no mechanical disadvantage but if the effort arm is greater than the load arm it will result in mechanical advantage and if the load arm is greater than the effort arm it will lead to mechanical disadvantage as shown in this figure now let's move to next mcq mcq number eight which of the following options describes standing position correctly option a the shoulders are down and forward option b the arms hang loosely to the sides palms facing outwards option c the spine is stretched to its maximum length option d the pelvis is balanced on second and the correct option is the spine is stretched to the maximum length option a is wrong because the shoulders are uh, not forward shoulders are always backward in the standing position or in option b the palms are facing outwards however in standing position the palms are facing inwards option d the pelvis is balanced on sacrum but in the standing position the pelvis is balanced on femoral heads mcq number nine when a person performs heel raises in standing position which of the following levers best describes this movement again this mcq is related to the levers and the correct option here is second order lever as discussed in the previous mcq there are three types of lever in the first order lever the fulcrum is in the center point in the second order lever the load is in the center point and in the third order lever the effort is in the center point and in this case the fulcrum is metatarsophalangeal joint here the effort is provided by calf muscles here and the weight of the body acts in between the fulcrum and the effort so basically this is the second order liver mcq number 10 in which of the following suspensions the effect of gravity is not eliminated there are two types of suspension axial suspension or pendular suspension option c is both of these and option d none of these the correct option is here is pendular suspension in the axial suspension the body is suspended by the axis of the movement and in this suspension the body moves in horizontal plane that is gravity free whereas in the pendular suspension the body does not move against the body actually moves against the gravity and the effect of gravity is not eliminated so the correct option is b pendular suspension if the MCQ statement would be like this, in which, in which of the following suspension, the effect of gravity is eliminated, the correct option would be A, axial suspension. MCQ number 11, the weight of two equal springs arranged in dash is the same as that of a single spring. Options are parallel, series, parallel in series, and option D, none of these. And the correct option here is series. When the weight of two equal springs are arranged in series, when two equal springs are arranged in series, their weight is equal to that of a single spring. If two springs are attached having forces of 5 newton, 5 newton, the overall force would be 5 newton. But in the series combination as shown in here, these, for, these forces will be added that if it is 5 newton and it is 5 newton, they are arranged in parallel. So it would be 5 plus 1, 10 newton. So in series combination, the weight is same but in parallel combination the weight is not the same the weight is added mcq number 12 the postures from which movement are initiated are known as correct option is starting positions so basically this is the definition of starting position written in the book of kinesiology by dina gardner mcq number 13 which of the following is the most difficult 
fundamental positions to maintain as the whole body must be balanced and stabilized in correct alignment on a small base. Option A kneeling, option B sitting, option C standing, option D hanging. And the correct option here is standing. Standing is basically the most difficult position to maintain because the base of support here is small as compared to the other fundamental positions. MCQ number 14, which of the following starting positions is associated with a feeling of joy and efficiency? And the correct option here is standing. Standing is a fundamental position that is associated with a feeling of joy and efficiency. MCQ number 15, the breathing is impeded slightly by the pressure on the posterior aspect of thorax in which of the following starting position. The options are hanging, lying, sitting and standing and the correct option here is lying in the lying position the breathing is impeded because there is pressure on the posterior aspect of thorax, thorax. and one more point here for you for your learning is that for breathing problems the best recommended position is half lying option number mcq number 16 the movement of pelvis on the femoral heads to produce a forward tilting is produced by the contraction of dash and dash muscles. So you have to pick the correct sequence of the muscles. Option A is hip flexors and lumbar spine flexors. Option B hip extensors and lumbar spine flexors. Option C hip flexors and lumbar spine extensors. Option D hip extensors and lumbar spine extensors. And the correct option is option C hip flexors and lumbar spine extensors just look at the image here here is a, are the lumbar extensors or spinal extensors here are attached the hip flexors when these muscles contract hip flexors in downward direction hip extensors or lumbar spine extensors in the upward direction this would lead to forward tilting of the pelvis we call we also call it anterior pelvic tilt MCQ number 17, the lateral pelvic tilt is produced due to the weakness of which of the following groups of muscles? Option A, hip flexors, option B, hip abductors, option C, hip extensors, and option D, hip adductors. And the correct option is hip abductors. So these are the muscles that are attached to the side of your pelvis. They are known as hip abductors. If they are weak and the person is standing on one leg, this pelvis will drop down and this type of pelvic tilt is known as lateral pelvic tilt. MCQ number 18, the posterior or backward tilting is seen due to the weakness of which muscles? Focus on the statement. The examiner is asking, what is the cause of posterior or backward tilt? And in the cause, the examiner is focusing on the weakness, not about which muscles will get tight. Option A, hip flexors and lumbar spine flexors. Option B, hip extensors and lumbar spine flexors. Option C, hip flexors and lumbar spine extensors. Option D, hip extensors and lumbar spine extensors. And the correct option here is hip flexors and lumbar spine extensors. As discussed in the previous MCQ, the muscles attached here, lumbar spine extensors, and the muscles attached here, hip flexors, were responsible for causing anterior pelvic tilt when they were tight or when they were contracting. So if they become weak, lumbar spine extensors and hip flexors, the opposite group of muscles which are hip extensors and lumbar spine flexors which is here shown in as rectus abdominis muscle, they will get tight and they will lead to the posterior tilting or backward tilting of pelvis. If the MCQ statement would be like this, which of the following muscles causes backward tilting of pelvis? The right option would be lumbar spine flexors and hip extensors. MCQ number 19. In which of the following levers there is always mechanical advantage? As discussed before, the mechanical advantage, less of effort is required to do a task and in mechanical disadvantage, more effort is required to do the task. The options here are first order liver, second order liver, third order liver, and option D, option A and C both are correct. And the correct option here is 
second order lever as discussed before you have to calculate the effort arm and the weight arm if the effort arm is equal to the weight arm there will be no mechanical advantage and no mechanical disadvantage if the effort arm exceeds the weight arm it there would be mechanical advantage if the load arm exceeds the effort arm there will be mechanical disadvantage in the second order lever as shown here the fulcrum is situated at the one end the load is in the center and the force or effort is here and obviously the distance of force to the fulcrum or effort to the fulcrum is effort arm and the load to the fulcrum is weight arm or load arm and that is obviously great effort arm is greater than the weight arm so there will be mechanical dis mechanical advantage and this occurs in second order lever <coughs> mcq number 20 when a person performs head nodding movement which of the following levers best describes this movement option a first order lever option b second order lever option c third order lever and option d none of these and the correct option is first order lever in the head nodding movement the fulcrum is atlanta occipital joint the effort is provided by the neck extensors and the weight is your weight of the head so here is the fulcrum here is the effort here is the load as discussed before when the fulcrum is in the center this is known as first order lever mcq number 21 in the levers if the length of weight arm exceeds that of weight arm dash effort will be required to perform the task option a more option b same option c less and option d no effect on effort Again, you have to revise the concept of mechanical advantage and disadvantage. So in this scenario, the length of weight arm is more than the length of effort arm. So there is mechanical disadvantage and mechanical disadvantage in mechanical disadvantage. Obviously, more effort will be required to do a simple task. MCQ number 22, which of type of the lever is also known as lever of velocity? Option A, first order lever. Option B, second order lever. Option C, third order lever. And option D, none of these. And the correct option is third order lever. Third order lever is also known as lever of velocity. MCQ number MCQ number 23, which type of the lever is also known as lever of stability? First order, second order, third order, or none of these. And the correct option is, and the correct option is, it's not uh, mentioned here. The correct option is option number A. The first order lever is also known as lever of stability. Now let's move to the next MCU, MCU number 23. Here, here is it is the correct option. The first order lever is known as lever of stability. MCQ number 24, which type of the lever is also known as lever of power? First order, second order, third order, or none of these. And the correct option is option B. Second order lever is also known as lever of power. So let's revise. The first order lever is known as lever of stability the second order lever is known as lever of power the third order lever is known as lever of velocity mcq number 25 if we look at our body as a lever which of the following structures serve role of fulcrum of the liver option a muscles option b joints option c bones and option d tendons and the correct option is joints as discussed in this example when the biceps contract, we are able to lift the weight, flex the elbow and focus where the movement is occurring. The movement is occurring at elbow joint and the point where the movement occurred in the liver is known as fulcrum. So in human body, joints serve as a role of fulcrum. So there were 25 MCQs of kinesiology. The next 25 MCQs will be discussed in the next video. Allah Hafiz.